Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an error that says this action is only valid for products that are currently installed. So this is usually an issue that's in line with different Office products. So we're going to go ahead and jump into how to hopefully resolve it. So the first thing I would suggest would be to open up the Start menu and then just type in uninstalled. Best match should come back and add or remove programs. Left click on that one time. You also go through the control panel if you're running Windows 7 or Windows 8. If you don't have the settings UI to work with here. So once Apps and Features is loaded, you just want to go down to Microsoft Office. So we can see we have Microsoft Office here. I want to left click on that. And then left click on Modify. If you get it, do you want to allow us out to make changes to your device? Left click on yes. It's going to ask, how do you, would you like to repair your Office program? So you can select Quick Repair, which fixes most issues quickly without the need for an internet connection. Left click on repair. Ready to start a quick repair. This shouldn't take very long, but you won't be able to use your Office programs until we're done. Left click on repair. This will take a few moments, and while this is running, I will put out there that if this does not resolve the problem, you can uninstall and then reinstall Office. So hopefully you have the disk that Office came with originally, or you have the retail copy of your key that you use to install it if you have a digital license, like you purchased it online. So it should be synced to your hard drive or hard drive information. So if you were to reinstall Office onto your unique computer, it should recognize it and you shouldn't have a problem. You just would need to have the actual media, so the actual Office suite. So if there's a really large executable file, you might have to re-download it again. I'm just going to put it out there. So if this repair does not work, I would suggest you guys actually uninstall and then reinstall the Microsoft Office suite. So we are going to let this run just so you guys can get a walkthrough of seeing what the repair functionality looks like. And once it is done, I'll be back.
So once it's done repairing, you just left click on close, close out of here. Hopefully the issue has been resolved at this point. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.